As the Pittsburgh Penguins began their march toward the Stanley Cup Finals, fans at Mellon Arena could enjoy real-time highlights of the game on their mobile phones. The technology is called the Yins Cam, and it's the brainchild of a team of researchers at Carnegie Mellon, led by Priyanara Simon. Dr. Nara Simon is director of the Mobility Research Center and the recipient of a prestigious Carnegie Science Award for emerging female scientists in our region. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. So, so, so how does a serious scientist at Carnegie Mellon wind up in the middle of a hockey game at the Mellon Arena doing technology? So I think, first of all, when you move to the city, you fall in love with the city. You fall in love with its sports teams. Mm. And that was, for me, the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And added to that, last year, um, the Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, you know, with Dave Soltes, who's their senior vice president of sales, along with the Pittsburgh Tech Council, went out into the community and solicited great ideas for technology. And we were one of the people who were fortunate enough to be selected. And they liked the idea that we had and the, fans, the fact that fans could control whatever they saw using their own cell phones. Okay, well, yeah, so the concept here is you're sitting there watching the game and the action's all at the other end of the arena, right? And I can barely see that jumbotron, frankly. <laughs> And so what do you do? How do you really get in the middle of the game? This is part of the solution. Right. right. So you take your Wi-Fi cell phone, and you just have to bring up your browser on the cell phone, and you type in an address that we give you. And once you're at that address, you can see all the different live camera feeds. You can follow Malkin, follow Crosby, watch the goalie, watch the bench, even get a between the benches angle if you want. And in addition to that, we can give you replay. So two seconds after something has happened, we send out a replay to you from all the different angles so you can see it just as you would have seen from all the different angles in the arena. Plus, the best part is you can do your own rewinds. Hmm. So think it's like TiVo on your cell phone. You can <laughs> rewind and see a replay just as you would have liked. Unbelievable. So you don't miss out. I mean, sometimes you, saw, you think to yourself, wow, I could, I, I'd rather almost be at home because I can see all of this. Now you can really see it at the arena as well. Right. And one of the reasons that I built this was, you know, when I go to the arena, when I go to games, you always think, you know, there are people in the nosebleed seats or there are people who are always going to be taller than you who stand up in front of you whenever there's a goal. And you want to be able to see that. The the reason you're at the arena is to enjoy that experience with everybody who's there. But sometimes the guy at home in front of his TV can see a whole lot better. So why not bring the best of both worlds right in your hands, right at your seats? It sounds like a great idea. I, I, I mean, is it a sort of a computer engineering scientific problem to actually make it happen? Absolutely. So the nice thing about this is that we're going after a hard problem. The hard problem is how do you do something like video delivery? at the scale, so 17,500 fans at Mellon Arena. Imagine trying to deliver video in real time, high definition, high quality, to their cell phones while the game is going on. And if, imagine if all these fans wanted to see that goal or that precious save at exactly the same point in time. That's a huge demand on the system, and that's the kind of system that we built. Unbelievable. Uh, is, is this kind of thing being done anywhere else that you're aware of? Oh, it's unprecedented. Nobody else has done something at this scale on fans' own cell phones without installing a piece of software on their cell phone. It, I, I, right. and, and now you're looking beyond hockey. You got your eyes on football. <laughs> you got your eyes on Heinz Field, <laughs> uh, literally the field, right? <laughs> that's right. So we also have a football technology project, and this again came from me throwing things at the TV when a ref call doesn't go my way. And it's trying to say, you know, well, can we instrument things on the football field so I can tell you that difference, that game-changing difference between a fourth and inches and a first down. Okay. And, and so how do you do, uh, how do, you do that? Do you oh. put gadgets inside the football? Yes. Yeah, so we built smart football. So we put smart a little football. chip inside the football, and the football tells you where it landed, even if there's a whole pile of players on top of it, so you can tell that game-changing difference. So none of this peel them off one at a time while the struggle's going on that's underneath. Right, that's now right. you would actually know. That's it's right. Like, that's right. Is that's that right. incredible? Yeah. Now, is that something you actually think we could someday see on a football field? I hope so. My dream would be to be on the sidelines of a Super Bowl when it's being kissed. Yeah, that's, that's really exciting. It sounds like you've had a blast uh, just being here and, and, and doing this and having the opportunity, I guess, to get a team like the, uh, the, the Penguins to open their doors to this seems to be unusual. Uh, it's, a, it's a great city. This city is about relationships. Uh, and this city is about people opening doors and taking chances. Um, if you look at the Pittsburgh Penguins and the way we collaborated with them, they took a chance on us. They gave us a tremendous opportunity. Uh, because opening their doors, allowing us access to their staff, allowing 10 of my students to be on site for every game, what a blast. <laughs> and to give us that opportunity to grow our research, to pilot it, to see it mature, and to actually take it out into the real world. That's unprecedented. And you get a Stanley Cup as a bonus. What a year.
Well, congratulations. It's a great story, and, and hopefully we're going to see a lot of deployment of, of this technology developed in our region on football fields and arenas all over Absolutely, the place. and we have to call it Yin's Camp for a reason, because it makes <laughs> people ask about Pittsburgh wherever they hear it. There you go. All right, Priyanar Simmons, thank you so much. Thank you so much right. for having me. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.